most of the women who live at Killingsworth have lost their way, and when you lose your way, you also drop other things. They've lost their families, their jobs, their sense of purpose, and, and when, you, when you lose something, you, you, try to, you try to find something to put in that, in that place. Sometimes it's the wrong thing, and sometimes it's, it's something destructive. Oh, life on drug addict. That's it. Morning, noon, and night. I would get so high, I would pass out with a pipe in my hand and wake up and it's still in my hand and just start red there. That was my breakfast. It was just, it was a roller coaster because, I mean, I didn't, every day I was fiending for drugs and I didn't know how to start my day without using drugs. Killingsworth is a community residence for women who have had crisis in their lives and they come here to get back on track, to stabilize their lives and do whatever they need to do to leave us in better shape than they came and begin their own homes or return to homes that they already have with families. When Logan got taken away from me when he was eight years old, I was a wreck. Um, I felt like a piece of crap because I felt like I should be the one taking care of him. I'm his mother. And on the other end, I chose drugs over him. The day my son came and see me in prison and he begged me not to get in no more trouble, to go back to jail, that's the day I surrendered. Carrie is one of our newest residents and she's got one or two primary goals and then some other smaller ones. But all of them are geared toward rebuilding her family and reestablishing a relationship with her son. But that includes a lot of things. She's going to need to have a stable job and be able to financially support herself and her son. She's going to have to know how to use her time and have healthy fun as opposed to the way that she's used to living before she came here. Um, I think she can do it. My favorite part about living at Killingsworth is the structure. Um, I've had structure before in my life, but I took it for granted. We have curfews here. Um, we get up at a certain time. If you're not looking for a job, you know, you're committed to what you're doing that day. Everyone that lives at Killingsworth is required to work a minimum of 30 hours per week to pay rent, to participate in household chores, and to be involved in the self-help program. We do one-on-ones, you know, I needed that. I needed somebody to tell me, you, you know, you're not gonna come in here at nine o'clock, 9.05, when you know you're supposed to be in here at nine o'clock. I needed somebody to say, you can't do this. Hillsworth is not here to give people a hand out, more so a hand up. We provide an atmosphere where a woman can grow spiritually, where she can become productive and responsible through working, through paying rent, through paying any other responsibility that she incurred before coming to Killingsworth. She has the ability to reconnect with her family and with society. My goal, the number one goal that I have to do to get my son back is to stay clean and sober. I have to attend my meetings every day and I've got a sponsor, I've got a job now, so it's my, it's my time to repay Logan back with being clean and sober. I cannot take the time back because I've lost four years of his life, but you know what, I can gain a lot now by being clean and sober.